Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some new leaks. We've got the official title for Episode 1, so we're going to be breaking that down and a lot more in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, like I said in yesterday's video, for those guys who haven't watched that video, go check out number one, but number two, can you please go to your phones, whether it's Android or whether it's iPhone, please get the Amino app, it's like a mix between Instagram stories, Twitter, and also YouTube, and I post over there, so it's a really great service, and it would really help me out if you actually went over and followed me and view my stories. It's a lot of fun. It's basically similar to what I do over here. But I do a lot more like top 10s, top 5 sort of lists. Like, oh, what are my favorite speedsters? What are the most powerful speedsters? You know, what's my favorite season? What's my favorite show? And lots of stuff like that. So please be sure to get the Amino app. That is on any platform, you can get that on your phone, so there will be a link in the description below to get that. And then follow me at the DC TV show and watch all my stories, because it's very similar to my content here, but just in short form. So yeah, go check that out, it's completely different to the topics I do in the same days on YouTube, so I think you guys would like that, and it would help me out. So, alright, let's get into this video. First off, we've got the reveal of the episode 1 title on the screen right now, you can see this is a crew call, and this is sort of like an information page for, I do believe, the cast right now. So, someone's leaked this. I don't know who did it. But anyway, so, episode 1 of season 6 is titled Into the Void. And so, this is an amazing title. We got, you know, the letter V. We found that out from the leaked script, and we were able to edit it out. We saw Godspeed. We've seen blood work we've seen what's happening in this episode we know Manu Vo is going to be in this episode that being the monitor so we found out all of that but we couldn't figure out what the title was but this is the official title for this episode it is into the void so this doesn't actually physically relate to anything specifically in the comics there is a thing called the void in the comics but that's to do with superwoman that's not to do with the flash or anything so I don't think any of that is going to be of reference in this title but into the void I think it's going to be a reference to the monitor and the idea of what's out there because if you remember back in the crossover when we saw the monitor and Oliver it's sort of like he exists in this void of nothingness and I feel like with the monitor being in this episode with him being around for a while you know as we head up towards crisis I feel like it's a reference towards him and also on the sheet right here you can see some graphics they put on and they do this every season it doesn't actually show anything new but it shows the idea and the essence of what they're going for especially in the first half of the season so what you can see here is as the six for season six you have the old flash photo with him there on the side and it's all blended in with the flash missing vanishes in crisis article and they've edited it it says season six instead of a date up the top you have Grant in the background, you have an eye, and so the whole idea is this is going to be heavily to do a crisis, and so that's what sort of leads me to believe that Into the Void is a reference to what's happening with the monitor in this episode, and also the way it ended was, you know, teasing Crisis, that the date has changed to 2019, and the fact that they've used the Crisis newspaper article in this we can be pretty sure that they are focusing heavily on it and so that's about it in regards to the title and what we can break down and the graphics on the screen right here but so this was actually yesterday so they started filming the season yesterday there was no actual set leaks just as of right now but fingers crossed in the next week or so we'll be getting some photos and so on and also the same from Supergirl because Supergirl has been shooting for about five days right now, I think. And so we've had no leaks as of right now because I think they're just doing a few little scenes here and there. Probably a lot in the studio. And also it was only the first day yesterday on The Flash, so you don't expect them to get that much done. But yeah, so look forward to all of that. And yeah, so let's move on to the next part of this video. So we've got a few questions that I'm going to be answering. And the number one question that I've been getting recently is, what kind of Harrison Wells are we going to see this season? Because we found out from that script leak 
because we edited it, we found out that, yes, Harrison Wells is definitely going to be in episode one. He's going to be in this season. He's on the series regular list, so he's going to stick around. But it just says Harrison Wells, and I haven't been able to find any scripts that actually, you know, use the specific wording for, say, Harry or, say, HR or Harrison Wells or Reverse Flash. Like, what they actually say in the sort of line where it says, and Harrison Wells says this then Caitlin says this, Barry says this, so I'm not sure what they actually refer to Harry as when he's on the show, whether they, in the script, they write in Harrison Wells or they write Harry Wells, so I don't know. I feel like there is a high possibility that we get the return of Harry because we didn't have Harry this last season and Harry's a fan favourite, so it's always great to see him pop up. He seems to come up about every two seasons because... Season 2, he got introduced. Season 3, it was HR. Season 4, we had Harry. Season 5, we had Sherlock. And now, I believe we are probably going to return to Harry. But in the script, it's written as Harrison Wells. So there is a high chance that it's not Harry, but it is a different version of Harrison Wells. Maybe someone completely new, someone completely like, say, Sherlock or HR, who were, you know, completely different from who Harry is. So, I think there is a high possibility that it could be Harry, but also there's a possibility it could completely be someone new. And so, moving on, the next question that I've got is, when will we see the new Flash suit? So, the answer to this is, if you check out what they do every year at the panels, if you've watched the panels every year, I'm going to be there this year, I'm very excited for that. But they tend to reveal a lot of stuff and there tend to be some posters, some artwork that goes up around and I reckon they're going to reveal the new looking suit at Comic Con because they know there was a lot of backlash to the suit this season and I feel like with their presence at Comic Con always being so big, it would be a missed opportunity not to actually release this along with the trailer. Say, you know, because we're getting new footage, we're getting these first few episodes and some of the scenes that will be in those episodes and surely if they're getting a new suit Grant's going to be in that new suit in that footage so I reckon when we go to the trailer we will see it in the trailer but if not I reckon there will be a new poster to tease season 6 and I reckon that will have the new looking suit I reckon the suit is going to stay pretty much the same but the cow is going to be different it's not going to be a helmet it's going to be back to normal but with a chin strap, obviously, because Grant Gustin confirmed that, that they are going back to that this season. So I would say Comic-Con is probably the best time because they always do big reveals. Also, recently, Mark Guggenheim was teasing some big reveals for Crisis at Comic-Con. So I'm expecting a lot of stuff this year at Comic-Con. And I'm so happy that I am actually finally going to be at Comic-Con. And I'll be there at all the panels. And I will have my trailer breakdowns out later that day or the next day whenever I get around to it so yeah very very exciting stuff right here as we head towards Comic Con because now it's currently July 3rd so they're on the second day of shooting and by the time we get to Comic Con which starts on the 18th so they will get there about 18th or 19th or something like that I'm not sure if they're gonna be there the whole entire weekend but their panels are on the Saturday so right now we got the third and then you've got about just over two weeks to do some filming in Vancouver and then they head down to San Diego where Comic Con is. So I reckon they'll get through the first episode, maybe start on to a few scenes from the next episode. I don't know how fast they actually do it, but I do believe it takes about just over a week and a bit to film like a full episode as far as I know. So I'm really excited for that. And the final question that I've got is what will be changed this season so in regards to timeline changes so what we know right now is that the only big timeline change and it's a very big timeline change is that crisis is being pushed forward to 2019 where it was originally supposed to happen in 2024 however i don't think there's going to be much changes apart from that i reckon maybe a few little changes here and there maybe some of the villains of the week maybe red death is affected by the timeline changes and maybe Godspeed is, maybe that's how Godspeed returns in episode 1, but apart from Crisis and the stuff that will have repercussions from Crisis, I don't actually think that the timeline changes are going to be that big, 
compared to say what happened in Flashpoint where everything changed and different stuff like that so yeah I don't think it's gonna be anything too big apart from Crisis so that is it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any videos later this year so I'll be at Comic Con if you guys are there please be sure to say hi I'll be in LA for two days from the 16th of July till late at night in the 17th where we go down to San Diego ready for Comic Con when it starts so thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys later goodbye